It is the last Monday of the semester. I don't know why I'm excited. Um, it's third period finals. I don't have a class third period. And then it's fourth period and then we get out at 110. So not much vlogging today. Um, I'm just in the process of, oops, cut off the camera. I'm in the process of just cleaning out my room, collecting the notebooks, and then a lot of the trash that was still in some of the cabinets and the drawers from when I took over the class. I had just left when the school year started because I just was like, I'm not gonna do it. I was tired. So I'm just using this time right now um, because all my grades are done at this point. I, grades for the third six weeks grading period. And then students took their, when they finished their final, they inputted it online. So I was able to find out right away and I put their grades into the grade book. So right now I'm just waiting for my fourth period and then tomorrow is seventh and eighth period. And then I'm done. So I will have everything submitted um, as soon as my last student turns in their final tomorrow um, at the end of eighth period. So other than that, it's just making sure my room is ready to go before I leave for the break and then making sure I have everything set up so that way when I come back, I don't have to worry about putting anything up or getting anything ready, it'll be done before I leave. So we have one more day before the end of the fall semester. Um, right now I'm just, all my grades are entered for the third six weeks grading period. Also the final and speaking of that, uh, I don't think I mentioned this last vlog, but someone just messaged me, a student. I've been receiving messages through the Remind app and also through my email from students asking what they can do, like if they can still turn work in late or if they can get a certain number of extra points so that way they can either be passing or eligible. And just at this point, there's nothing that they can do. Um, I think I've, if you watch my vlogs from the beginning of the school year, I've allowed students multiple opportunities for retakes, um, allow them to turn in work weeks after it was due for full credit. I know that's a little bit crazy, but I've done that. Um, and so if students didn't have the, you know, didn't take advantage of those opportunities, and now it's coming back to bite them in the behind, then, you know, so be it. But I just, I don't have, grades are due tomorrow at 2.30. I have stuff that I need to take care of here. Um, and then also personal stuff once I leave here that I just don't have time to sit here and grade a whole bunch of late assignments from students, especially some of them are were writing assignments that I have to sit there and actually read and use a rubric to grade. I don't have time to get all that done by tomorrow at 2.30. So with that said, I'm gonna stop this so that way I can take care of what I was gonna do here and then head out. It's cold and rainy outside, but that doesn't matter because today is the last day of the semester. So I am pretty excited about that. I have my seventh, eighth period final sorry my sinuses are draining right now some of the eight period final and then um, that's it all my grades for all my other classes are submitted um, I'm just waiting for the final exams today from both of the classes that I have and then I just have to finalize grades and I will be done and then I've cleaned up my room for the most part um, and organized everything so that way I don't have to worry about doing that when I get back or I don't have to come up to the campus like the weekend before we start to have to do that. So I am going to focus on driving and um, that's about it. That is it, school is out. I just have one student here, dual credit, finishing up some homework before I submit grades to the UT professor. But other than that, I'm going to walk my exams down to the main office. So to take all of these, these are all the final exam, the paper copies. But I think I said yesterday, the students took their exams online or they submit their answers online. So they were able to find out right away. My dual credit class, their test was online. So that's how they had to submit. So right now what I'm doing is I am going through, I have actually finalized all my grades. So they're all set. I'm going through right now for the last grading period, um, this third six weeks, and any student who made below a 50, majority of my students made well above that, but students who just were absent um, consistently and continuously, or students that just didn't turn stuff in at all, no matter how many times, like I contacted them, contacted home, or contacted other teachers to help on their behalf just didn't turn stuff in. So here in my district, there's a standard of 50%. Um, if you're gonna give a student less than a 50%, then you have to provide documentation. That's just a lot of work. Um, and I put stuff into the thing, but it, then I have to play around with the actual individual grades and fudge grade 
you know, percentages within the gradebook, and that's just too much work. So our gradebook actually recently um, came up with this function where you can just go in and initiate a grade change, and it's it's submitted to our data processor, and she approves her. Um, I guess ask for more information, but right now I'm just going through each of my periods just to make sure that any student who made less than a 50%, um, I wasn't going to go back through and fudge grades, fudge, fudge percentages in the grade book. Um, I'm just going to go through and initiate a grade change that way. So I am done. It is weird to think that I vlogged every single week of the school year so far. Um, when I started vlogging back like the second week of June, and I had the vision for wanting to do these types of vlogs. Um, part of me think, was thinking like, you're crazy, like you're not gonna be able to do it. <clears throat> but I stuck with it, I vlogged every single week, starting back in June, so I released a vlog a week, and uh, when the school year started, um, it was a little bit difficult. And I'm actually probably gonna make a video talking about that, but, um, yeah, I vlogged every single week of the school year. Uh, at least fall semester, I should say. Every single week of the fall semester. Um, and so that's, I don't know how many vlogs that was. So I, I started vlog 13, I think. And this is going to be vlog 33. And actually starting after Thanksgiving break, I was releasing two vlogs per week. So it's just crazy to think that I, you know, I had this goal and I stuck with it. Um, even though it got a little bit difficult. Um, at certain points throughout the semester and stressed me out, but I stuck through it, stuck through it. So with that said, I am going to end here. I am going to, because just the weather's crappy right now, um, I'm going to pack up my belongings and I finish submitting all my grade changes. Oh, I just bit my tongue. All my grade changes, all my grades. Um, I'm gonna pack up and I'm gonna head home and I'm going to enjoy my break. Well, that's it. If you're interested in checking out some of my other clips, you can do so by clicking on any of the links right here. If there was anything about this particular video that you like, then make sure to hit that like button, comment down below, and or share the video. And if you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe so that way you can bond with James. As always, thanks for watching.